Well, this is a couple boxes of vintage 35 millimeter slide film, coat of chrome. And uh, as you can see, the expiration date is quite a while ago, 69 and 67. This box really got some age to it, but uh, the boxes are sealed. And uh, of course, uh, this kind of film comes in a, a plastic container inside the box. And uh, uh, I have through research found that uh, people look for these uh, old, old film because even if it's uh, aged and maybe uh, a little, uh, well, more than expired, uh, you'll get some interesting results from the uh, photos taken with these. And uh, some artists look for that. And I was able to get $15 for these two. A hat. I used to sell so many hats. Now I hardly even look for them because the market is so saturated. I did pick this one up uh, probably five or six years ago. It's a Freightliner corduroy hat, very nice condition. And I thought this would sell right away, but it was one of those list it and forget it. And it finally did sell for the asking price of $20. This is the Boston Ever Handy. First I thought it said Ever Hardy. That script. In Boston, the metal there, but um, nice red uh, and uh, stainless steel coloring. And uh, this vintage pencil sharpener sold on Bonanza for 25 bucks. This is another Chilton's auto repair manual. This one covers uh, vehicles from 66 to 73. And uh, this is just one of uh, about 20 I bought over a year ago. And uh, this one. Sold for $15. After uh, stripping down a uh, GE console, the last thing I saw on there was this little badge. Uh, I bet you somebody could use that. It said about everything you know, need to know about it right on the badge. It's quite small, as you can see, and it sold for 12 bucks. Now this is a uh, <clears throat> well, universal brand, UTC. Uh, blank 8-track tape. I picked up a bunch of these uh, quite a while ago. I haven't sold very many of these because they're uh, odd uh, time, 32 minutes. Not even enough for an entire album. But I uh, finally did sell one for $9. Well, this is the tone wheel for a Telefunken stereo, console uh, stereo radio. That's the way it looks put together. Just another part off of a uh, stripped down console radio and this sold for $15. Although this looks like a Charlie Bird 8-track, it's actually a 4-track, which preceded the 8-track in the uh, mid-60s. And uh, you can always tell because they have a big hole in it. The 4-track player did not have a capstan or pinch roller. Uh, on board the uh, cartridge. It was part of the player itself. When you stuck the tape in, this little rubber wheel then would uh, come up through the hole and pinch the tape against the uh, cap stand and uh, make the tape move. Just uh, These just have uh, uh, two programs where eight tracks, stereo eight tracks have uh, four programs. And uh, these are somewhat rare. I did try and get 25 bucks for it, but uh, it has been up for sale for over a year or maybe two years. And I took a best offer of $13 for it. This is a pair of Zenith uh, speakers. Came out of a uh, 1961 Zenith console. Uh, I finally uh, got around to listing these. I dismantled that uh, console quite a while ago. I did recently sell the turntable, the Cobra Matic, for $350 that came out of it. My girlfriend and I went to a small town outside of Sioux Falls and uh, picked up the whole console for, uh, I believe, $20. And uh, I didn't know that these speakers had a lot of value. I know some people look for them, but when I uh, looked them up, all speakers, or most speakers, have a code on them. You can tell the maker and uh, the date and uh, the 
model is on this one, the 49CZ852. Well, while I was listing them, I did a little research. Found out they were quite valuable. I found one had sold for $125. So I put these up separately for $125. And then I did a little more research and boy, people really do like these speakers and they're quite rare to find. And so I uh, went back and revised the listing and upped it another $20. And uh, later in the day yesterday, somebody bought the pair, $145 each. This vintage uh, Marantz Quadraphonic Amplifier, I picked up at a uh, yard sale. It wasn't out in the yard. It's one of those deals where I uh, inquired after seeing some record albums. I just kind of said, do you have uh, any old record players or amplifiers? And took me inside and he had this and a Marantz tuner and I bought them both for $175. And uh, I knew their value would be up there even if they didn't work. But he assured me they did, and they're just clean as can be, just like brand new. And I was able to sell this on a best offer of uh, $525. I figured this would be a quick 10 bucks. These are uh, cassette adapters to use in uh, cassette players and vehicles that uh, don't have a CD player or an auxiliary input. You can plug this into an iPod or your CD mobile player and it'll play through your cassette deck. And I found three of these in a plastic bag at a garage sale for 75 cents for all three. And uh, this is the first one to sell, $10. This is a vintage hammock I got at an online auction uh, just for a couple of dollars. It's a, a unique design anyway. It doesn't tip at all. It's made of canvas. It's uh, got some sun fade on one side, a couple of pillows along with it, and I put this up, uh, I guess I took a nap once in it, and uh, I sold it on Facebook Marketplace for uh, $40.